We are your back to school station. Schools across Hampton Roads are preparing to start a new school year, but not everybody agrees on exactly how they should do that. What do you think? Open up the app or log on to 13newsnow.com slash vote and you'll get to vote on some of the choices facing parents in Chesapeake today. 13 News Now reporter Dana Smith found out two choices in particular getting a lot of attention. Chesapeake City School officials are asking parents to make a choice and there are two options on the table. Return to the classroom or stay home. It's a choice between virtual classrooms or real classrooms. So what the fall semester will look like is up to you. The school board laid it all out at a meeting last night. Option one, send your kids to class for on campus learning. Option two, continue Chesapeake online, virtual lessons at home. I'm probably going to do option one. I'd like my son to be able to be in school and get the instruction if as long as it's safe. According to the school board's presentation, a return to the classroom depends on the COVID-19 outbreak. If cases are too high, all children might be forced into online learning or a blend of in class and online instruction. With the virus, you don't want them there, so it's kind of a catch 22. Online learning includes a virtual classroom with teacher led instruction for 30 minutes to two and a half hours per day, depending on grade level. If you pick this option, it's a semester long commitment. I would just feel more at ease with them being home. Reactions are mixed, but according to a survey school officials conducted last month, more than 50% of parents said they would feel comfortable sending their child to school with additional health and safety precautions in place. But they do need to get these kids back in school. The survey will open to parents on Thursday and you have until July 21st to decide. Dana Smith, 13 News Now. Hampton School Board will talk about their reopening plan tomorrow. The board previously laid out four phases of reopening in the fall. It follows the state's guidelines. We're expecting to learn more about those phases tomorrow.